All right, so at this point, I should be able to pull the slattle, slattle, saddle forward, slide it right off again. Oh yeah. Jip for the saddle. The jib for the saddle is located in this hole, which is covered by this little button right here, which on many machines, these buttons will be missing. On this machine, not one, but both the front and the rear button are present. With the buttons removed, again, we've got a situation where we've got dual screws. One is a locking and one is a uh, one is an adjustment. I don't care which is which at this very moment because, again, my immediate aim is to loosen both. If I can find out what size it is. Oh, come on. There we go. Not sure which one's locking and which one's adjustment, so I'm just turning each one a little bit. All right, so now that one's completely loosened up. And this one is also now very loose. So, could be getting tight at the very end here for a couple of reasons. One reason might be that the uh, that there's virtually no wear this far out on the ways because the t table may never have spent any time traveling over here or very little time. You know, we're probably confined to the same area over here most of the time, so the wear is concentrated here. So it gets tighter. So if the jibs were adjusted for it to be tight here or close tolerance here, and when it gets up to the end here, it would tighten up. The other possibility is it's just, it's just you know, some dirt and gunk here. I still got these things to deal with, I'm not sure of. Oh, okay. I felt those come out. Ah. Oh, that was one of my 12 year old's teachers. That kid is going to be the death of me, I tell you. We're uh, a little over. A week away from the first quarter grades closing and he's right now he's got a D in this class and it's not because he can't do the work it's because he wants to goof off well, he's got a detention that he's gonna serve I don't know all right so now I remember what the heck I was doing. You know what? This is how these buttons end up missing on these machines. You forget that they're there and you knock them on the ground and you never see them. Alrighty, so where was I? I was about to... Uh... Now that I took those off, I wish I slide this back and I actually look down here. Oh yeah, cool. Good oh yeah. Oh, I see the pin. Gotta get that out before I forget. That pin, back in that grenade. This is interesting to me. The top of this opening right here, right over here, this has got some really nasty work done to it. Why somebody would have opened that up like that seems strange to me. Look at the shape of this opening. This looks like it was chipped off on purpose or something. I don't think it was cut with a torch. Seems like somebody wanted to make this opening bigger than it already was. I mean, I'm thinking the factory wouldn't let something go like that, but I mean, it could be wrong. Maybe somebody will be watching this that has a Wells machine and has had it apart, and they can let me know what they found when they opened it and took the saddle off.
occurred to me I should have a place to put the saddle down before I go and get all hog wild taking them off. Ow! I forgot about the jib and it just fell out and hit me in the knee. These plates. See, there's a little button on this side pushes against this plate. Or is it like this? There it is. Oh, and I'm already going to have to look at the video to see what the heck this was. All right. So now I'm looking at the top of the bevel gear that is on the top of the elevation screw and it goes to the engages the bevel gear on the end of the shaft to elevate it. It looks to me like you got a big Allen screw here. So you get a big Allen screw right here. I'm thinking if I take that Allen screw out, that bevel gear might be able to slide up off of the uh, shaft on the elevation screw and then that might free this to be able to be lifted up and off of the uh, the base. So I think if I hold this from turning and then turn the handle that I can unscrew that screw. Oh man, maybe not. That been that wrench in there. Maybe something better to hold that than that. Wow. Wow that screw's tight. Boy, are you worried about damaging one of these teeth? Could be a left hand thread, but it's not. It's tight either way. Okay, I got another idea. All right, so right now I'm trying to take this bolt out, thinking that will release that gear from the top of the elevation screw. But I also noticed when I was looking up from underneath there, this four hex head or um, Allen head cap screws that hold this whole plate assembly right here attached to the saddle. Now, if I take those four bolts out, this will drop free and be separated from the saddle. However, this bracket right here is part of that plate. So in order to separate the two pieces, I've got to get this pinion gear out and the shaft out. Now, in rotating this, I don't see any pins. There's no bolt or screw on the end, I don't think. And I don't see any pins in this holding this on. So maybe behind here, behind this dial, maybe there's screws that hold these plates on right here. And then maybe when you take these plates on, maybe that whole thing just slides right out. I don't know, one of these plastic washers. Which makes me wonder where the plastic washers were for the dials on the ends of the table. Yeah, there's the screws I expected to see. It's dark so early now. If that shaft doesn't want to slide out of that pinion gear on that end, this may end up proving to be a complete waste of time. But hey, if nothing else, the shaft Well, yeah, it doesn't come up, it doesn't come out. Just saying. 
if it does come out, not only will I be able to then be able to separate the elevation screw from the saddle by doing this uh, plate thing in there, but this also won't be sitting out here possibly to get damaged if it hits something while I'm moving it. Alright, they're all off, but this actually sits on two pins. I can see that shaft is pulling out of the pinion gear. My phone's ringing in the house. Great. Phone, phone call from my nine-year-old from one of his classmates. Yeah, that, that's a call I definitely didn't need to take. Yeah, we just want to talk about nothing. Because that's what we do at this age. Uh, again, I'm going to put the dial and the plastic washer and the locking nut back on for safekeeping. And this whole thing comes right out. Nice, easy, easy peasy, Japanesey. Okay. These screws right here. These pins slide out. Yeah, they do. I'm gonna take those out before they fall out and get lost. Okay. The pinion gear now. Actually, the pinion gear looks like it's still a pressed fit maybe in this bearing that it's riding in, but that's not really relevant because it can stay with that bracket. The idea being now, if I take those four Allen head screws out from under the bottom, I could separate this whole bracket and bevel gear assembly from the knee and then get a strap on this thing, pull it right on, straight up, we'll have to rotate the turret out of the way. Take this knee right on off. All right, got the right size on the first try, but now I'm gonna do what I should have done a while ago, which is go get my nice little set of Allen wrenches uh, sockets. All right, so now, got the right size. Allen, put it on a nice long extension, and make my life easier. I could have gone even one step further and got my air ratchet out here, but eh, it's only four. Now, in case you're wondering, the saddle sits on top of that plate, so when I take these screws out, this isn't going to be able to just drop down. It's actually sitting on the plate. Taking the screws out is going to enable it, enable me to lift up on the knee. I, I said saddle, didn't I? Knee. To lift up on the knee and have the elevation screw assembly stay behind. better sweatshirts I got greased. Yeah, this really long extension I have on here is just the ticket. In the words of Ferris Bueller, if you have the means, I highly recommend it. Or something like that. That's it. Know what I mean, Vern? The other thing that's good about taking the, the, the saddle and the knee off in addition to the, to the table is uh, weight loss. You know, it all adds up. That saddle's not incredibly heavy, but combined with the knee, which we're going to be taking off, it's a lot of weight. Ideally, I'd like to take this ram off, but 
the ram is such an ideal lifting point. I mean, I'm lifting it from here now. And I might be able to get away with lifting it from that on the trip down the basement. This is going to be, uh, this is going to be interesting, to say the least. Got to get... problem is the way I have the strap in here, it's around the good strong center section of this casting, but it's also going to be on the bottom of that piece that I want to stay behind. If I come up this way, then it won't interfere with that piece. But I won't be lifting dead center if I do that, which bothers me a little bit. But I still haven't loosened the jib from the knee. So I think what I'll do is I'll loosen the jib and I think it'll be okay. So to loosen the jib on the knee, you get a couple of those little button caps, just like on the uh, saddle. And one here. Bottom here. Oh no, there isn't one on the bottom. Uh, it, was a, it was a quarter inch Allen wrench, but I think the head of that Allen screw is a little damaged. Ah, fuck.